Oh, what's coming, and I'll show you in a minute, complete disruption. Anybody here in this room play Farmville? Do you guys know Farmville on Facebook? It's a game on Facebook. Do you know Farmville? Uh, I hope you don't know Farmville, but last year, people spent $360 million on Farmville and a, on a game, right? Buying tractors and carrots. Right? But they would never spend that on music. So now we have this complete disruption, and I think basically what you see happening, whatever happens to media is going to happen to marketing. So if you're in the marketing business, you have to get ready for some very, very serious disruption. You cannot sell what you used to sell in the past, and you can't do it with the lame stuff that we did in the past. We're only at the beginning of the iceberg. Every single person in the next few years is going to connect to the internet on mobile devices all the time, and everything will be connected to the network and to each other all the time. That's going to completely disrupt marketing as we know it. Many people have said, including Helga earlier, is that basically we don't need marketing if we have the internet. Right? I mean, if we're connected to each other and we can recommend things, right? why do we need pitches? Why do we need noise? We don't need noise when we have meaning. Right? So our job in marketing is to create meaning, right? to create an environment, a context, not to create more noise. So many of you, if you're in the marketing business, you live in this world, the world of silos. Right? Everybody is stuck in their own place. There's the marketing guys, and there's the product guys, and I won't even mention the other guys. There's other guys there too. But everybody is in their own place. Okay? If we continue this, we will die. Okay? Because the business of the future is no longer this. It's going to be one big pile based on a lot of things coming together. Right? And that's probably true for all businesses. I mean, the most successful product that I've seen in the last few years is the, the, uh, the Nike running shoe that connects to the internet. Right? It's the running shoe that saves your data and you can compare with others. That's not a marketing campaign, that's a product. Right? I mean, that's the standard example, but it's still extremely powerful. Right? So, this is the world that we lived in until the mobile internet, just two or three years ago. Because the regular internet on the computer is still very much this, right? But this is the world that we lived in. Big record companies, big, big movie studios, big banks, right? big, uh, big lies, big government. Right? Now the world is becoming like this. Right? This is the world that we're going to. And we still have the big guys, too. Right? We, we still have these guys, right? because they don't die. But this world is completely different. Does anybody here use an app called TripAdvisor? Do you guys know TripAdvisor? OK. If you, TripAdvisor is a way of, of uh, recommending and rating restaurants and hotels. OK. If you take TripAdvisor on your iPhone or on your Android phone, and you go to a restaurant in Germany, OK, Bring up the TripAdvisor app. Put it on the table so that they can see your phone and the app. Okay? You will get 100% better service. Right? Because they see that you have the power to say things about them. Right? The power of transparency. Right? And that's what we see happening around the world. When I'm at the, air, at the gate at the airport, I use an app called Flight Tracker. You may know this app, right? I know more about my flight than the woman at the gate. Okay? That's called consumer empowerment. And I can use an app to calculate my loan. And I can go to my bank and say, guys, I'm not getting it from you. When I'm at the doctor's office, before I go in, I look at my mobile app to see or Google my problem. Right? And, I say, I have, and I walk in and say, you know what? There's a new medication for this problem the doctor doesn't know. Because he's 60 years old, he doesn't, he doesn't know what the internet is, right? This is a huge problem. Our world is becoming like this. If you're not with this program, you're in deep trouble. Right? Look at all of these successes in the last 10 years, right? Just last week, you guys know LinkedIn, right? LinkedIn. Okay, LinkedIn went public last year, or uh, last week. <laughs> and it was a huge success because this is what they do, right? They empower people. 
So now all of a sudden the world is a different place. We're, we're connecting, right? This is what I call the network society. And in a network society, there are the people formerly known as consumers, right? These people aren't consumers anymore. We're not consumers. We're not dumb people that buy stuff, right? I mean, we're like a hundred different kind of people. Some of us post on Wikipedia or on Amazon. Some of us forward a video. Other ones uh, don't ever watch television again. We're like a hundred different kind of people. We're completely fragmented. But we're no longer this uniform bunch of people of idiots, right, that are consumers. We're no longer this. And this is going to apply to every single person in the next five years, whether they're 35 or 70 years old. And that will change our very concept of marketing, right? Because we don't just stuff things in this direction of people who are supposed to give us money. Right? That's not going to work. I don't buy anything from somebody, nothing, if I don't like them. Okay? Like in the sense, not a Facebook like, but a real like. Okay? I don't buy a car from a car company where they don't treat me right. And this is why I don't buy any car right now, because I don't have any feeling that they really do the right thing. So it's no longer about being consumers. Right? And then here's the truth. The consumers today have enormous power. There is people bidding every second. There's people bidding for our attention. There's a trillion dollars. One, I'm, how many kroners is that? I don't know. I think it's something like what, uh, five trillion or eight trillion of your currency. Right? There's a trillion dollars in reaching people. Right? Roughly $560 billion are spent on so-called advertising, and the rest is spent on marketing, data mining, and all the other kinds of things is a trillion dollars. Does anybody know how big the music industry is? Uh, we have to take a microscope, you know, we find it somewhere. Uh, it's 17 billion dollars, right? One, seven, right? Okay. That's, if I do my math correctly, that's 1.7% of the entire global advertising budget is the music business. If media does not think that we can fund television and films and radio and music and books and all the other stuff from a trillion dollars, I, I mean, clearly that, that is not a problem. Right? So one trillion dollars to reach us and one third of this money is going to go here. Three hundred billion dollars will be converted into ways of having people have conversations. That's money, marketing money moving to digital, to interactive, to mobile, to video, right? And you can be part of this. I mean, this is the biggest shift in marketing for the last 50 years after television. And television will be part of this. That's what television is going to do, connect people, what's called social television, right? So we have the old kind of advertising. This is a giant jumbotron in Bangkok. Right? And it's huge. It makes a hell of a noise. Right? This kind of advertising and marketing is completely useless. I mean, maybe it's useful in Bangkok, but in the future, it's useless. We need this kind of advertising, this kind of marketing, people connecting. Now, here's a video of a company called O3B. O3B is an important company, and Google is funding half of this company. O3B is putting 18 satellites into low-flying orbit, okay? And these satellites will provide free internet access to Africa, South America, India, Brazil, Southeast Asia, Indonesia, all the places that we call the other three billion. You know, the people who are not currently connected, okay? And this internet access will be given away courtesy of Google for more or less for free. So ye, these people will be able to go online and do everything cheaper than we do it okay, on cheaper devices. Imagine what happens when those three billion people come online in Africa, in India, in Russia, in Brazil. Right? I mean, the huge amount of stuff that happens in terms of change will be humongous. Okay? Now take one step further. If you're in the phone business, for example, people will be making phone calls without a SIM card. Phone calls without the phone company. Hallelujah. Finally. Idea X. 
Dobra ideja može promijeniti sve. 